But yeah, people, um, uh, understand what I'm saying to you. Uh, uh, yesterday, all right, yesterday when I was, um, uh, I had, you know, this, this, this thought came to me that, that, you know, most of, most of the Christians that are, most of the Christians that are, that are in America, they believe in a cursed gospel, you know, and that's, honestly, that's, that's depressing, that's, that's one of the most, that's, that's one of, that's, that's depressing, I was, I was depressed over that, I was sad over it, because I was like, man, I was like, all these Christians, they're blinded in America, they're blinded by, you know, obviously the enemy, and I was, I was like, man, I was like, how do I say this? Because, you know, the path, it really is narrow. And many Christians believe that they themselves are walking on a narrow path, but they're realistically wasting their time. They're not doing anything but wasting time, you know. And then they have all these other manners of diverse lust. They have these desires for other, for, they have these desires for, for different individuals. Uh, they're, they're wanton. These, these women are, are haughty and wanton, you know. And they're willful, they're bold. They're bold and, and you know, that's, uh, that's not a good feature to have in a woman, for a woman to be bold. I don't know what kind of man likes a bold woman, but, you know, uh, and, and basically, this nation is just, is just, it's just backwards. And um, unfortunately, people are not gonna understand that. Not, people still are not gonna grab, or not understand, but people are still not, they're not gonna be accepting of what I'm saying to them. They're not gonna accept everything that I say. And just because it disagrees with their foundation, just because it disagrees with their spirits. And many people, they're not willing to, um, what is it, I just seen a post about speaking that many people are not willing to uh, to obey Christ. I forgot what the post even said, but you know, it's like many people are not even willing to suffer for Christ. Many people are not even willing to believe the gospel and the scriptures. They're willing to compromise to what their pastor tells them, with their interpretation of what the pastor says, uh, what is to be the truth. And, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to be like, you know what, that's, that's wrong, you know? That's a wrong, you're spreading a false gospel. I rebuke you. And Adam, Adam and I rebuke him, you know, because that person is spreading the false gospel. And basically, everything, everything that I'm saying, it could, it could, it could be all summed up in this: that um, you have to be obedient to all of Christ's teachings, which is, which is all of them, all of them. Many people don't want, want don't want to be able to obey the law, and they feel like they have the the right interpretation of the scriptures of what it is to, to uh, what uh, Matthew five eighteen means, and to the people who know what Matthew five eighteen means know what it is you know i bet you have your own interpretation of it that is not scriptural yeah you're not gonna tell you're not gonna run up into a synagogue and and tell these people that they don't have to be obedient to the law you're just not going to you're not gonna get anywhere with these jewish people with the zeal that they have for god and tell them that they don't have to obey the law you're just not going to do it you're not gonna get anywhere with them they're not gonna you know, and people have this, uh, this, uh, well, what was Christ teaching on? And, and I could tell you one thing that could destroy that notion that the law is extinguished. But if we're, if we're going to ex expect all that, the, the, that the law isn't Holy Spirit come. If we're going to expect that we don't have to fall, uh, all right. This, I'm just gonna say this one, and um, I forgot what gospel uh, what gospel was. I'm, I think it was Luke. Uh, he said, uh, "If whoever curses their mother or father, and this is an Old Testament law, let them die to death." And this is this came from the words. Of, this came from Jesus Christ's mouth, right? And what else came from Jesus Christ's mouth? This was a teaching. What else came from Jesus Christ's mouth? was blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth these two are not di two different teachings people these are these are not two different these these are two this is this is they're not two different things they're both teaching they're both teachings of christ obviously christ doesn't have to teach 
Jews that they had to keep the law. Obviously, they understand that they're not under the law anymore. They understand that they're under grace. So that's that's just what I was trying to uh, to to uh, to not to put in your mind, but it's just that uh, it's just what um, yeah you know, and people people still want to fight it and. People are still gonna want to disagree with that, but you know the proof is there. You know if you don't want to accept the proof, it's because you blatantly denying the truth. Uh, how are you gonna accept? Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, and blessed are the pure, for they shall see the face of God. But you don't want to accept the fact that God said, "Whoever curses mother or father, let them die to death." This is the same person who said, "Whoever, whoever, uh, whoever is without sin, cast the first stone." And it maybe is one of those that are often looked because you didn't put too much attention on it because it's the law and it's like well I don't really have to put too much attention on it or, you know whatever whatever what Christ's persona is uh, how he speaks to other people or how he spoke to 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 the Pharisees or what was just common sense to the Pharisees in those times but regardless it, the the regardless the evidence is there if you choose not to acknowledge that or are you are you or, or you choose to deny it flat out that that that, that was one of Christ's teachings. You're gonna miss, you know, obviously, the fact that you have to obey the law, and you're gonna begin to see the fact that you're gonna that that you do have to obey the law, and that we're not under the law anymore, but we're under grace. You're gonna understand what grace really is, and you're gonna understand because apart apart from not following the law, you don't really have a, a concept of what grace really is. You could only you could only look at it for face value, like you know what, I'm a sinner, you know. And Christ died for me. He paid the price for me. He did this and he did that for me. Wow, grace. But it, it is it is to to a Jew to to a person who is actually Jewish and who 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 this is their hope that a uh, Messiah was gonna come and they were gonna save them. To them, it's, it's much more um, it's more it's more it's much more appreciated to them than for a Gentile because a Gentile is just like, well, I recognize my wretched nature. I recognize I need a savior. I confess Jesus is Lord with my mouth, and I believe with all my heart that God raised him from the dead, and that I may be saved, that I, that I shall be saved, and um, from the, you know, just from God's wrath, saved from all that, and saved and saved into God's arms, and um, saved into God's hands, and none can pluck me out from his hands, and he's not going to lose anyone of his, but, uh, you know, it's just it's just more appreciated. It's just more appreciated by a Jew than it is appreciated by a Gentile who, who has no previous knowledge of the Messiah, has no previous knowledge of the wretched nature, who just recognizes that I'm not perfect, just recognizes this like that. It's like you know. Uh, it's more. Salvation is, is, is for the Jews, you know, and it, 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 the fact that you even got saved, you're, you're lucky because the Jews, some some Jews aren't even saved, and these are these are these are from the natural branch. These 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 are from direct, a direct lineage from Abraham, all the way to Abraham, who birthed uh, uh, Isaac, and Isaac gave birth, uh, and Isaac birth, who birthed Isaac. No, who had a son named Isaac, and Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob, and Jacob was the, and Jacob was the one that was smarter than Esau, and and you know what, you know, he ended up inheriting uh, what, he ended up inheriting uh, uh, the nation, that nation could have been called Esau, or it could have been called Israel, probably maybe because Jacob's name was was Jacob, which means he deceives. <laughs> I, if if you people have not if you people have not read Genesis, I encourage you to read Genesis because I mean it's not that it's funny, but it's like you know it's it's like kind of not humorous, but you know you you definitely do learn a lot, and that is what I'm not gonna say anything right there concerning that type of stuff, but you definitely do learn a lot from that, and then you're like yeah man, you know things things don't change, um, but. But uh, but yeah, um, yeah. The salvation is more appreciated by Jewish people. So I understand, you know. I I pray I pray to God that He uh may cut off 
uh, a long time ago. This is like four months ago, five months ago, maybe even more. That it cuts off uh, 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 Christians who don't want to follow the law. That Jews may be in that Jews may be grafted back into law. And these Jews, these Jewish people are willing to obey all of God's commandments, right? And they're all willing to obey all of Christ's commandments. And these uh. These uh, um, these Christians get mad because I pushed the law, and that's just manifested what I prayed to God, and they get bitter about it, and they get mad, and they get angry because I'm pushing the law, and they they start giving me all these excuses like, no, I'm mad at you because you tell people that they have to obey the law. You're trying to put them under a burden, uh, man. I'm not even trying to put them under a burden. These people understand, just like you understand, that we're under grace. But we have to be obedient to all of God's commandments. It's that, it's that principle, you know. In heaven, you're not going to eat pork. In heaven, you're not going to eat swine. You're not going to do it. Well, I'm not sure, but, you know, obviously this is just what what is godly, what, that God gave to us. He already gave us food to eat. He didn't give us poison to eat. He gave us food to eat. He didn't give us pork to eat. He gave us food to eat. Which is cow and all that, you know. And I could go... I really can't go on too much about that because I'm still speaking about people that are, that, that are believing in a cursed gospel. It's just these things, little by little, you know, God is refining his remnant. And more and more Christians are falling away. And, you know, you could go and you could look and you could, you could go on you could go on YouTube and you could do these types of things. And you could look at, there's, there's um, what's it called? Uh, revivals and... In, uh, in, in Israel itself, you know, you, you're able to see that Christians are actually able, are accepting uh, Jesus as their Messiah. They're accepting him as their Lord. They're, they're, they're understanding the, the, the bigger picture as you stand back that 2,000 years ago, a man who came exactly as it said, exactly it was written by all the prophets, by the prophets, he came and he, uh, he died for all the sins, exactly how Isaiah said. They're able to stand back and look at the bigger picture that Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is the Messiah. And, you know, a Jew, the Jewish people are able to accept it, and they're able to more comprehend it, and they're able to mourn and, and lament and weep. Like, man, we lost, we killed the, we, we killed the, we pierced God's son, and we pierced our son, and, you know, they're, they're, it's, it's all like one big uh, happy family, you know. Everybody just joins together, and everybody's like, you know. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to preach a different gospel. I'm not going to preach anything else other than that. But if you confess Jesus is Lord, and you believe with all your heart God raised him from the dead after he died for your sins, my sins, and the sins of all this earth, then you shall be saved. But you have to be obedient to him. You have to have the, the, the willingness to obey all of Christ's teachings forever. Um, but this is something that's just integrated in, 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 orth in, in, in Jewish people. It's just, it's just naturally, I, I'm not sure, but, you know... Uh, is something that is accustomed to the Jewish people. Repent.